channel. In today's video, we'll see how to scale out and update a containerized application on a Kubernetes cluster. Since this is a time lab, before starting the lab, let's go through the challenge scenario and understand what we have to perform in this lab. So this is a challenge scenario. You are taking over ownership of a test environment and have been given an updated version of a containerized test application to deploy. Your systems architecture team has started adopting a containerized microservice architecture. You are responsible for managing the containerized test web application. You will first deploy the initial version of a test application called Echo App to a Kubernetes cluster called Echo Cluster and a deployment called Echo Web. The cluster will be deployed. So in the zone, they will specify the zone name. So in this lab, first we will be deploying the test application to a Kubernetes cluster. So after deploying this first version, later we will do modification to the application and again we'll deploy the second version. So this is the prerequisite. So first we need to ensure in the cloud storage bucket if this tar file exists. Later under cluster, we need to ensure this cluster exists. So they have already created this cluster. So that we have to ensure that it is in this green status. So if the cluster is healthy, it will show it as green check mark. So when uh, the cluster is ready and we have the tar file, then, then we need to deploy the first version of the application by connecting to the cluster. So by setting this kube config, later we need to deploy this first version of the application. So once this is done, we need to expose this deployment. So once that is done, we need to update the running Echo app applications. So this is the application name and we need to update this application in, in the Echo web deployment from V1 to the V2 code. You must also scale out the application to two instances and confirm that they are all running. Let's start the lab. First, let's verify if this star file exists under this storage bucket. Go to cloud storage, click on buckets here. So this is a bucket, click on that bucket. So there is this star file. We have this echo web v2. So next we need to make sure that this cluster exists, echo iPhone cluster. So for that, you can go here to Kubernetes, click on clusters. Here you can see there is a cluster, echo iPhone cluster and it is in ready state. To deploy your first version of the application, run the following commands in Cloud Shell to get up and running. So let's execute this command, gcloud container clusters get credential and the cluster name. So in this zone, this is created. So we are setting the cube config by executing this command. So let's go here, activate Cloud Shell. I will open this in a new window. So let me execute that command. When we execute this command, a cube config entry gets generated for the cluster. So once that is done, let's execute this command cube cuttle create deployment echo iPhone web with this image. So this image is a v1. It contains a version 1. So let's copy this command. Now this echo iPhone web got created. Next we need to expose this deployment by executing this command. So kubectl expose deployment followed by the deployment name to a load balancer on port 80, target port to 8000. So let's go up with this. Now it's exposed. So when you execute this kubectl get services, it will list the services. So this echo web is exposed to load balancer, the cluster IP. So external IP, it is still pending. It's creating that. So now the external IP is generated. See, this is the version one. So we have deployed the first version of the application. So let's go back. Let's proceed with task one, build and deploy the updated application with a new tag. The updated sample application including the docker file and the application context files are contained in an archive called echo web v2 tar. 
the archive has been copied to a cloud storage bucket in your lab project called so this is a storage path where we have this v2 version of the application so here in this task we need to download this archive and build the docker image and tag it with the v2 tag so for that so you can refer to this github link i will be sharing it under the video description you can refer to these steps when you are doing the lab before proceeding with the task one i will first set the environment variables so here i am exporting the zone region project id cluster name so these variables are used in upcoming task so that's why i'll be exporting these variables so that is done next we need to build and deploy the updated application with a new tag so for that first we need to download the tar file by executing this command so we need to download the gsutilcp followed by the storage path so when we perform ls so here you can find the echo web v2 tar file next we need to untar that so for that we need to execute this command so now if we do ls so now you can see docker file main.go main manifest file so these are very important so once that is done we need to build the docker image so for that we need to execute this command docker build hyphen t its image name echo hyphen app and we are tagging it with a v2 so why we are specifying dot is to refer to the docker file in the current working directory so let's copy this file if i remove this see what happens so it requires one argument here so if we give dot it will refer to the docker file in that existing path so now we can see it is reading the docker file and it is performing all the steps which is defined in the docker file so now this is complete so this is the echo hyphen app the image which we built with data as v2 image id you can find it here so now we have built the docker image by executing this command docker build hyphen t and the image name and we gave a tag as v2 for this image in next task we need to push this image to the container registry so for that we need to tag this image so we need to execute this command to tag the image so let's copy this command so let's proceed with task to push the image to the container registry your organization uses the container registry to host docker images for deployments and uses the gcr.io container registry hostname for all project you must push the update image to the container registry before deploying it check that there is a tagged image in gcr.io for echo app v2 so now we have tagged that image so next we need to push the image to the container registry by executing this command so let's copy this command now this is complete so you can go back here click on check my progress now let's proceed with task 3 deploy the updated application to the kubernetes cluster in this task you will deploy the updated application to the kubernetes cluster the deployment should be named echo hyphen web and the application should be exposed on the port 80 the application should be accessible from outside the cluster deploy the updated version to the kubernetes cluster so we have already created the deployment so again we don't have to create the deployment by that name echo hyphen web we just need to update the application and deploy it again so for that first let's set the cube config by executing this command gcloud container clusters get credential cluster name followed by the zone so let's copy this command so this will generate a cube config entry suppose that we need to update the deployments image so here we need to execute command kubectl set image and the deployment name so here we are setting the image to v2 so we are modifying the image to point to this container image so this contains the version 2 so we don't have to create the deployment again we can just set the image to point to this specific image so let's copy this command so now the image is updated 
so here we can execute this command kubectl get deployment and the deployment name to check the yaml file so this is a deployment specification so this is a file so here you can find this under spec section under containers so this is the image which we have updated just now so before it was referring to v1 version now we have updated this to point to v2 this is the image name so that's optional you can verify it here as well so you can go back here you can click on check my progress so now this is complete now let's scale out the application to scale out the application we need to execute this command kubectl scale deployment echo web and the replicas here iphone iphone replicas is equal to 2 so when you run kubectl get deployments here you can see this is the deployment name so if you run kubectl describe deployment echo iphone web so this describes the deployment so here you can see the deployment details here this is the uh, deployment name and it is in a default namespace and it contains only one replica so now we are scaling it to two replicas so for that we need to execute this command kubectl scale deployment deployment name and we are setting the replicas to two so let's copy this command uh, i will clear the screen scaled if I just run get deployments see now it shows 2 of 2 means it is having 2 replicas so if I execute this command again describe deployment echo web see here it shows scaled up replica to 2 from 1 so under message it is showing the activities so these are the events under event section you can find what happened with this specific deployment and here under replica section you can find there are two replicas now so this is how you scale the replica so once that is done you can click on check my progress it is running two replicas now next we need to confirm the application is running so for that we can execute this command kubectl get services this is that here you can execute curl http so you should get this message echo test version 2.0.0 host name and the host IP address so if you remember we opened this before this is the uh, version 1 of the application so if I refresh this now you can see this changed to 2.0.0 since we have deployed the second version of the application onto the cluster it is showing the version 2 so this is how you verify it so you can click on check my progress so now this is also complete in this lab we saw how to containerize the web application and deploy it into the cluster then again how to modify the application and deploy the second version of it onto the cluster and we also scaled out the application by setting the replicas to 2 so once you are done with this lab you can click on end lab if you face any issues or difficulties performing any of this task in this challenge lab you can leave a comment under comment section below if you found my video helpful please like and subscribe to my channel and stay up to date with the latest content on this channel thank you all for watching see you in the next video